Hello, my friend. My name is Anton from Conlog.com, and today we are having the first demo about PYJNMI. PYJNMI, this is a Python library which we have created to manage the network elements over JNMI from the Python. In today's demo, we'll take a look how we could utilize the first call out of JNMI specification, which is capabilities. It's the most basic, but this is exactly what we need uh, to uh, have for our first session. So in your screen, you could see the brief LAF topology, which we are going to use today. We have our server, which is having JNMI client, where we have Python, where actually we will be configuring our network elements from. Um, this server has a dual stack uh, IPv4, IPv6 addresses, so we could reach our network elements out of the outband interface, either on IPv4 or IPv6. We will show you today both examples. And um, finally, the network elements are having their um, IPv4 and API addresses as well. So uh, between the devices, we are having the direct connectivity. We don't need it for the first lab today. However, in future, with next demo, you will see uh, how we will be collecting information about that. So as I said, the first uh, step, what we are going to do is to perform the capabilities request. So let's get started uh, with uh, the code. First of all, we need to install uh, PYGNMI. It's very easy to do. It is um, existing in the PYPI uh, so in standard package, um, Python package indexes. So that is why you're installing it just using the PAP tool, PAP install PYGNMI. And it will download uh, the latest version of the PYGNMI, which is 0.3.1 right now. How it is developing and uh, it, it, it would be some different version very, very soon. And also all the libraries which is used um, by PYGNMI to work. So um, once you have the library installed, we can uh, start writing our own script. Let's create a file, let's call it uh, main.py uh, or jnmi.py. Uh, yes, let's create for main.py. This is, will be our script where we will be um, managing our network elements from. So uh, we started with a standard uh, thing uh, such as Shebang. If you are interested more about um, Python details, take a look on our web blog. Uh, we are having uh, the session dedicated uh, to their Python basics. So um, in order to work with network elements using PYGNMI library, uh, we need to import in our code uh, the client which allows us uh, to work with the network element. We do it using the, uh, using the standard import from PYGNMI dot client. So this is a submodule. Uh, we are importing the GNMI client. So this is JNMI client, uh, the interface where we will be interacting um, with our devices. This is uh, working as a channel, so you would need to open it, pass in the arguments such as uh, username, uh, IP address, uh, port, post name, uh, type of the operation, and um, uh, internally, when this object is created, we will be issuing uh, the calls to the, our network elements. So um, let's prepare the basic uh, set of the variables which we need to have. So uh, we have two devices in our demo. One is uh, Nokia SRS right? another one is Arista EOS switch. So we'll create a set of the variables associated with this host to create them as a, a dictionary. So we could do it quite easily. And um, we need to, uh, let's say, uh, create the following um, entries. IP address. Um, for one host, we will show you how to communicate using IPv6. So we'll provide IPv6 address of the Arista router. We need to provide the port where the JNMI is working. So uh, we have it working on the 57, um, 57,400, so the same port uh, we have on the Nokia later. And we need to provide username 
uh, which is very simple in this uh, case, and password. Same, um, we, uh, same set of the variables we are creating for our second host. We are creating yet still separated. Uh, this time that will be Nokia and uh, it is having a different obviously IP address. We will show you how it is working over IPv4 and we provide them the default credentials for the Nokia. Once we have prepared this basic set of the variables, we effectively already can start working with the network element. So um, to connect uh, to our um, network element, we'll create a very simple um, construction. In order to build the channel, uh, we are using a with as construction. So with JNMI client, Um, uh, we have built-in help, so it tells us what we need to provide. We need to provide uh, first of all the target, which is tuple, um, where we need to have our IP addresses and ports. So um, we provide it as uh, tuple containing uh, host one IP address and. Uh, Host one port. So this is these um, parameters how we connect to the network element. Besides, we need to provide the username, which we would provide as uh, uh, the username we have provided for our network element, and uh, password. So um, once uh, this, let me probably do it uh, in a bit different format so that we have everything on the screen. So once we have provided this element, we need to specify uh, which um, method we are using to connect. So we could use a secure channel or insecure channel. In this case, uh, we have our device configured for use of the insecure channel. So that's why we tell that insecure is true. Otherwise, if we are using uh, the encrypted um, method, or sorry, not the encrypted, the authenticated, we would need to use uh, password certification. Uh, this is will be covered in the separate demo. So um, again, what we are doing with this statement, we are building the connectivity to the network element. The connectivity is built uh, into this object. It means that now we can start working with our network element. Um, the way how the library is created, so uh, depending on which call we are making, capabilities get set or subscribe, we need to provide certain arguments and uh, the result of each code is provided as a Python diction. This is super convenient because you don't need to uh, bother uh, yourself how to convert it from the protobuf format to XML or whatever format it might be else. So um, the library py genome is doing it for you. So that's why as we are doing in this demo, the uh, capabilities request, the capabilities request in the genome specification does not require any parameters. So we could create a, a simple um, response, which we'll call it a result as um, uh, the capabilities call. So as you see, uh, the help tells you this is uh, this call is used to collect the genomic capabilities. Totally fine. Doesn't require any additional um, arguments. So if everything would be fine at this stage, we will get the capabilities which network element has. It will be already converted to the Python dictionary, and you could use it um, in your script logic. Let's just print the results and see whether we are getting what uh, we intend to have or not. First of all, uh, let's, um, so it tells me I have some, uh, so I need to add a comma here and here. So um, let's test our script. So first we are connecting our IPv6 address to the Arista router, just to highlight again. So this is uh, FC or 0169254255A is an IP address of the Arista uh, switch. So let's run our script. So this is 
details. And immediately, once request is done, you are getting the response. So you see, the response is provided into the Python uh, dictionary format, so you could work with these elements um, without any further parsing. Uh, the connectivity has been established successfully, because otherwise you would have an error here. And uh, uh, you see uh, all the capabilities that this ARIS device is having. So the structure how it is provided, it tells which uh, YAN models are supported. It's providing the supported models. So name of the model, uh, who has created it, and the version of model, if that's existing. And uh, in the end of uh, this document, we would also see some other information, such as supported encoding, so which formats are supported, and which in my version the device is run. Now, this is done against Arista, and that's why you see uh, Arista pretty much in, um, not in all the requests, obviously, but in many of them. Let's run this against Nokia. So add that this is Arista, Nokia. So providing here host. And let's run it again. So now you see we are getting the Nokia. So basically now you see that the capability is collected from the Nokia. Nokia is supporting the same JNMI version. So 07, the same as our Arista. It supports less encapsulation types. And um, we have the list of all the models, which uh, includes Nokia native and um, open config modules. So this is how easy you could make the capabilities request using the POI GNMA library created by our team and uh, start uh, working with the network elements. Uh, the result provided to you back in the Python dictionary simplifies your work because you could, uh, uh, let's say, uh, if you're interested only in specific elements, you would like uh, to probably uh, take a look only on the version and if you run now, you see that you're getting an on the specific value. So you don't need, if you don't need others, you could work directly with that. So this is all for today. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. In the next demos, we will cover other requests such as get, set, and subscribe. All of them are implemented in uh, PYGNMI and also other types of the operations such as uh, encrypted uh, channel using their certificates. Thank you very much. Take care, stay healthy, stay safe.